Michigan's Attorney General Dana Nessel is requesting a special prosecutor to look at the case of several prominent political and law enforcement figures allegedly conspiring to illegally obtain voting machines. Several of the people involved have said publicly that they are working independent investigations into potential election fraud, but now they could be facing criminal charges for the way they allegedly went about it. Our Michael Martin is live in the newsroom with the latest on this entire situation, Michael. Max, Josh, this whole thing began after Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson made a complaint to the Attorney General's office and the state police all the way back in February when she got wind that several people were going around to county clerks trying to convince them to hand over voting machines and digital logbooks. Now, according to the AG's investigation, they got their hands on several and could now face criminal charges for doing so. During the 2020 general election, handfuls of politicians here in Michigan spoke publicly on their concerns that there were issues with voting machines being used, with rumors of vote changing at times rampant. The attorney general, she had no choice. She had no other choice other than to take action. On Monday, Attorney General Dana Nessel announced she was requesting a special prosecutor to look over an investigation her office conducted on several individuals who allegedly obtained voting machines illegally in the pursuit of their so-called independent investigation. It's the only course of action. Otherwise, you do nothing. And that's not an option. Nine people were investigated for possible involvement, including Barry County Sheriff Dar Leaf, current GOP nominee for AG Matt DiPerno, and State Rep Dari Rendon. They're accused of going to local clerks in Roscommon County, Richfield Township, Lake City, and Irving Township in convincing them to turn over voting machines, software, and digital logbooks for a vote-shaving investigation. You can't touch them, you can't turn them around, you can't do anything with those machines. You, so you obviously, if you can't touch them, you can't seize them. The attorney general's investigation began after Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson made a report to their office and the state police. On Monday, she said in part, the Republican, Democratic and nonpartisan election clerks of this state do their jobs with professionalism and integrity, and we will continue to ensure they are equipped with a full understanding of the legal protections in place to block bad actors from pressuring them to gain access to secure election systems. I'm really shocked and disappointed the way attorneys are somehow caught up in this nonsensical, possibly illegal activities. AG Nassel is requesting a special prosecutor from the prosecuting attorney's coordinated counsel because Matt DiPerno is involved and she will be running against him in the upcoming election for attorney general in November. It won't somebody... take long. The prosecuting attorney's coordinated counsel, I'm sure, would uh, appoint someone to head that up and and to look at it. And they would be totally separate from the, the attorney general's office could be some time before the case moves forward at all. First, there needs to be a special prosecutor appointed who will then review the investigation that's been done for potential criminal charges. For now, live in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.